Today's gospel mentioned that Jesus sent out 72 of his disciples. 72. Why 72? He is sending them out in view of our harvest. He sends them out to reap and collect, to bring together and to gather. Again, why 72? In the book of Genesis, chapter 6, if we count all the sons of Noah's children, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, you come up with 72. The Bible says that after the flood, 72 people started to spread all over the world. Those 72 represent all the peoples of the earth. All people, though of course they now have more than 72 names, all people go back to that original 72. If we read with this background, when Jesus sent his 72, he must have been thinking of those 72 peoples, of all peoples in the world. And those 72 got a mission from Jesus, a very clear mission. They had to announce the kingdom of God is very near to you. But this is not all Jesus said. Jesus also said that they should consider themselves workers, bringing in a harvest. The harvest is rich, is ripe and ready. All the rice in the field, the papayas, the bananas, the rambutans, the mangosteens, the mangoes, the durians, they are all ready for collection. Yes, the harvest is rich, but, but, the laborers are few. These 72 were sent to gather all of them to collect the harvest and bring it back home. We are sent in the same way. And that is why all of us should be gatherers and peacemakers. In our SFA parish, we have about 2,800 to 3,000 parishioners. That is our harvest. We are supposed to bring these 3,000 parishioners back together in unity. But we need workers. We need laborers. And they are few. Sisters and brothers, Whatever our situation and status in life, whether you are parents, teachers, doctors, lawyers, engineers, architects, employers, employees, etc., we are also being sent by Jesus to be workers in his vineyard by virtue of our baptism and confirmation, we share, we participate in the mission of Jesus, in the mission of the church. We become his missionary disciples by being learners and imitators of Jesus. That is discipleship, eh? Jesus, who is our teacher, our master, 
and by being sent by our Lord to witness before all people. There is apostleship, being a missionary. Our church teachings from Second Vatican Council says there are innumerable opportunities open to the laity for the exercise of their apostolate of evangelization and sanctification. The very testimony of their Christian life and good works done in a supernatural spirit have the power to draw men, to draw men to believe and to God. It continues, a true apostle looks for opportunities to announce Christ by words addressed either to non-believers with a view of leading them to faith or the believers with a view to instructing and strengthening them. Sisters and brothers, today, many people are known by their jobs, education, achievements, talents, and stature, and so on, but not all of them are known to be Christians before anything else. So are you a Muslim or a Malay first? Huh? You remember this statement years ago. You are not simply a father, mother, lawyer, doctor, engineer, businessman, etc. But you are and supposed to be a Christian father, a Christian mother, a Christian professional, a Christian employer, Christian employee, a Christian businessman, a Christian student. But the challenging question is, what is the use of being a Christian if my being so does not really make a difference in my life and to the people around me? A challenging questions. What is important in your life? Sisters and brothers, in our faith understanding, the greatest thing and joy in life is to know, to love and serve God. To make Jesus known, love and serve so Jesus appointed the 72 other disciples to be part of the workers who would gather what was scattered and what was lost. They would bring them back home. Thus, before anything else, let us live our basic Christian calling as missionary disciples. How? By our active participation in bringing our people back to church, back to attend our Sunday masses, enough of online masses of live streaming, come back, back to attend the BC gatherings, back to loving fellowship and loving service and gather them in unity and let's do it together sisters and brothers you and I are part of the 72 nothing more nothing less Amen